favorite places. It's actually a new sight to me. You can see just in the bed of my truck right now. Back into this little cove. Isn't this cool? It's a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie. Um, heard some sound in the trees. It's just barely sprinkling rain. Hoping it doesn't get too crazy. Let's see the power of that light, isn't that cool? Bring it back out. Anyway, um, I've got my bed made here and I'm just gonna hunker down. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard. Send me into my truck. But uh, I'm hoping to get up and get out and catch some fish. Love waking up in the mountains. Oh man. Found myself a really good campsite. There's a road that comes down off the main road to my big flat area. This would be great for if you could get a trailer in from that little road right there. But last night I was hopeful that this trail would head to the river, but I was a little too hopeful. In the night as I was driving, um, we lost the river. I, I lost the river probably it's 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 at least over the ridge and through the woods so it's quite a walk. So I'm gonna jump in the truck and um, head back down the canyon and hopefully get in and do some fishing. mid actually late October um, come on wine um, still have caddis hatching so that's pretty cool there we go and they're pretty large um, so before I approach the river I'm going to arm myself with that fly. I've got some little cast dries here. This is about a size oh, 18, I think. Floating. Tiny bit. Just kind of massage it into my fingers and then, then put it on the wing. Helps me so I don't get too much floating on the get too much floating, it just kind of does the opposite of what you want it to. I got water coming in all over the place here. A little Little flow coming in here. The main flow coming in down below. Wow. Oh, this is so exciting. I've never been on this stretch before, so. Okay, coming up on Prime Lie, this, this little seam, it's kind of a deeper seam. We can get somebody to come up here. Switch to a, a beadhead dropper or something. 
wake them up. Come on, that's primo. coming up they're not looking up so we're gonna we're gonna switch to a uh, you know what I have a really big caddis here and then we'll drop a little bead head from that see how that works I've still got this big caddis in my patch here big old Honkin Caddis. It's a good fly to suspend a dropper from. going to drop just a little ways. We're not going to get too carried away here. Maybe a foot. So you go right off the band here. Sometimes I keep the barb because the keeps my dropper line from slipping off. And then probably any little bead head will work. I'm going to go with this little crystal. It's in my vest. Crystal uh, back pheasant tail. back doesn't tell. Okay. A little floating on my giant caddis and we'll have it. It's got that crystal underneath too. This one has a little hackle wrapped around it for extra float. Okay, let's see what happens here. Felt like it grabbed something. No, we're good. baby. Primo. Maybe there's just not anybody there. Hard to believe, but possible. fish. There's fish. Knew it. Oh, nice. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, beautiful rainbow. Wow. That is a beauty. Holy cow. All right, come on. Boy, that's a beautiful bow. Look at that. All right, wedding hands. 
Letting hands to hold fish. Look at that bow. Ooh, beautiful fins. That's not your average planter right there, guys. Wow, that's gorgeous. Took that little pheasant tail. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. All right. Back to work. Woo. Sweet. Okay, there's a little complex here, but fish have been biting, so. I'm not really sight fishing, I'm just kind of casting to potential places. Had a couple of hookups that I didn't get on film, kind of LDRs. But definitely we have fish here and they are hungry. So that is so cool. Just gotta get right drift. Look at this beautiful place. Okay, got a nice little seam up next to the bank here. Let me see if I can't tie something out right there. Oh, wrapped around. Dang, dang, dang. A second ago that I didn't bring breakfast this morning and I am hungry. So I think we're gonna try to catch some breakfast. Oh. All right, could this drift be breakfast? Could it be? Come on, baby. Oh, there's fish in there, yeah. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Come on. There's more than one in there, I know. There we go. There we go. Are you breakfast? Nice. Oh, gosh dang. Oh, what is up? All right, so there's a beaver dam up here. I'm gonna do a little exploring. It's up and out of the main channel. This is kind of cool. Let's see, we see up here. I saw it from the top as I drove in. Oh, cool. A couple of little dams. One little guy right there. Another little bigger one up to the left. Don't know if there are any fish in there. Can't see. I don't see any movement in that pool. I don't think there are any fish in that one. But this one's a little bigger. Look at that good looking beaver dam. Man. Boy, that's a beauty. Look at that. Kind of cool because it's up above the main channel. So you can get up on top and sight fish anything here. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's fish. Kind of swam away from me though. I think he saw me as I came up. Good looking rainbow. All this watercress and stuff. Wow.
Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, there's another one up ahead. Another beaver dam. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna try to get a drift in over here. Still looking for breakfast. It's uh, real shallow right there. All right, let's see if this one's any deeper. Wow, this is so cool. I bet you there's a deep spot up here. I bet we'll find breakfast up here. Don't get me wrong, I'm normally a catch and release guy. But I like eating them too. Every rarely now and then. Oh, look at that hole. Wow. Up here, and here's a little cutty. Beautiful little cutthroat. Look at that guy. Wow, he gorgeous little fish. Here you go, bud. Oh, there's a big fish right there. Oh, nice big fish right on the edge, right there on the edge. Oh, I almost spooked him. I'm gonna see if he's gonna take a. Let's see if he takes the streamer. Boy, I didn't even look at it. Didn't even look at it. Okay. So he didn't even turn on the streamer. We're gonna we're gonna give him a dry fly. Boy, he is just good looking fish right there. Oh, well, he's not coming up. Now he's moving around for sure. He's feeding. You know what? I'm just gonna throw on this little bead head by itself. Let's see if I can't get him to take. So I'm betting on, I'm betting that I can just see the take subsurface. Here we go. Here we go. getting it to him yet. He's got to see it in front of him. Oh, I'm going behind him. He's looking definitely in front. There we go. Boy, that's just behind. He's looking in the white water. And that's not working. So gonna switch to a little dry dropper and maybe that he doesn't want this guy. I haven't spooked him so he's still he's still hanging right there. Ha this is so cool. Alright we are going to Almost like mayfly or caddis. There's a little caddis. These little caddis cripples are killer. Let's try one of those. So that'll just break the surface. A little crippled caddis. I tie with a just a foam body. That's all. Just cut foam in slices and wrap wrap a green foam body. With some deer hair. That is 
a phenomenal fly. Where's my tag? And there it is. Okay, I'm still playing with this little, little guy right here. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so he just took something off the top. Let's see him do it again. Oh, if I can get a fly to him. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Caddis cripple. Or cripple caddis. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, he's not very big. I thought he was pretty big. Look at him. Look at him in the. I think you are breakfast. I think you're breakfast, ma'am. There's that little. Triple caddis in the corner of his mouth. Oh, you know what? He was blind on that one side, which is why he wouldn't take on that inside drift. It took an outside drift because he's missing an eye or he's blind. That eye's malformed or something. All right. Well, that's going to be uh, that's going to be breakfast. Yum. And then I think what I'll do is I'll come back up. I'm going to cross up here, go back to the truck. Then I'm going to come back up here and play in this pond, beaver pond. Yeah. I'll tell you what has been a lot of fun, you guys, is a little firebox. That is a game changer. Um, I just carry it in my map pocket in my truck now. Um, but, you know, I've showed you this stuff before. Um, get on fireboxstove.com and check it out, but I'm just going to make my breakfast. There's my little trout I just caught. I'm just going to throw them in a pan with some different things and hope it turns out, but it's fast and it's easy and like I say, I don't have to carry fuel. I just went and got a bunch of uh, dead and dry as I could um, sagebrush and just started my little fire here and We'll cook up a trout. tamarind. So I just cut up some cactus pears. I'm going to do some trout with tamarind and cactus pears and then I put some chili powder with some kind of some chili lime powder. Tamarinds are super good. They're uh, real sweet and sour. I'm gonna put that in there. on there. Oh man. Okay, well that's some of the best trout I've ever had. 
that tamarind and those cactus pears just kick butt. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Just stumbling upon this kind of stuff all over the place here. Look at that. Boy, that is something. That is something. Look at that. Drift. This is just a complex of um, beaver, beaver ponds, beaver dams. This is something else. So beautiful here. Apparently not. smack in that corner. Right, the one on a caddis. Right on top. Ooh, nice jumper. A little ledge of vegetables. You gotta get them over here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good looking fish. Good looking. Heck yeah. Oh. Oh. oh there he goes. He's in the mud. Oh, son of a bitch. This mud is deep. Alright, there we go. That was lucky. Good looking bow. That was funky. Fish on and I was just stepping up to the next hole. This is a pretty good one. Come on. It's like a nice little cut. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful cut, bro. Beautiful cut. Oh. All right, look at this guy. Ooh, look at those spots. Pretty fish. Okay, there you go. Back in the water. Nice. strangest takes I've ever had all of a sudden I got a big fish like racing toward me and I thought oh I wonder if he took and yep sure enough he's on the pheasant tail nice nice fish looks like a big bow oh yeah Good looking. Sweet. Oh, pretty rainbow. Pretty rainbow. Oh, yeah. Take that pheasant tail. Look at that. Look at the markings on that guy. Oh, man. It's a beauty. All right. 